Hello, hello, and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. My name is Byerland Zero, and I'm playing here on the MindFam server. Uh, I never thought I'd be making YouTube videos, uh, but a couple of the other players on here uh, uh, do create videos, and um, they've been encouraging me for a while uh, to try it out to, to share some of my builds. Uh, and so I figured I'd do that. Um, I know I definitely get a lot of inspiration and motivation uh, from sharing my creations uh, and from talking with people through thought processes or techniques. Uh, and so I figure if uh, I do that in the video, maybe I can um, get some feedback uh, and feel like I'm sharing those builds. And, and if I know I've been inspired by other YouTubers and other videos, uh, I watch uh, quite a bit of, of Minecraft YouTube to get inspiration. And so if I bring you some inspiration or some, um, some learning, then I think it'll be worth it. Uh, like I said, my name is Virulent Zero. I go by Viru or Guru. Um, and I'm standing here in front of my base for this server. The server is uh, got about eight or so players on it. Oh, there's four of us who are front of it. The main core uh, as for bases uh, this is my home I, I typically build I like to live in smaller bases uh, as opposed to mega bases and I think this is working really well especially with um, the shulker uh, boxes in the game and the ability to carry lots and lots of items in your ender chest uh, I don't have a need for a huge huge base I'd rather distribute the uh, farms and the, the resources and so on. Uh, so let me give you a, a quick overview of this area here. I'm going to walk down the path uh, instead of flying just so that it's a little bit more scenic. Uh, but we're playing here on this server with a central location in this plains biome uh, centered around this big tree, which I'll get to in a later video. Uh, you'll see lots of spoilers or hints at future things uh, for the server. Um, around this area, we've got different sub areas that have different themes. So this area over here, this uh, we call it Birch Ridge for the birch trees, is sort of a, a rustic theme. Uh, in the back, there's statues. You can see one of them poking through there. Over in this area is uh, a downtown, uh, modern downtown. So if we're standing here with a tree, there's the modern downtown. Behind there is some mega farms uh, and uh, uh, mega builds. Uh, over there, just out of view, is more of a Nordic theme, um, Alpine theme. And then we've got a medieval uh, theme here peeking through uh, a little bit. And I'll work my way through in these first few videos, going to these different builds and talking through them. Uh, I, I don't want to do too much in the first one. Just take my time. I'm thinking for this series, at least to start, I will um, do, say, five to six minute videos, show a, a build or two, uh, and uh, call it good. Uh, take it easy and, and trying out the, the YouTube thing. Uh, but I also I enjoy hearing, when I'm watching other people's videos, I enjoy hearing the thought process or the ideas um, as much as, a, say, a story um, so um, I, I hope to do that with my videos here. So here I am uh, in front of my brown mushroom house again. Uh, we're in, like I said, the, the rustic area, the birch ridge area. And you can see behind the house is the dark oak forest. So I wanted to include something uh, from there in the, the build, in the building. Um, and a couple of the areas that I've really been working on in the last year in my uh, Minecraft building, uh, the first one is in adding details and textures. Uh, you can see the front lawn here. I've added a lot of details. Um, but also in building not uh, in the Cartesian directions, building at angles. And so for this house, I tried uh, building the house rotated slightly. Um, I find that rotating it, with like three or four step uh, blocks per step works really well. I think pure diagonal, 45 degree diagonal uh, is, is actually harder than this. 
And I also liked with this layout, this position, that you see it coming down the path. So I angled it so that you would see the house as you walked up to it from this view. Uh, and then for the house, I included that brown mushroom block and um, a lot of the dark oak. Uh, I did do some texturing, not so much in the brown mushroom, but on like the wood deck here or on the roof, which we'll see in a little bit. Um, and then what I like to do is I like to try to find different ways to use blocks, um, ways that I haven't seen before. So I haven't seen this too much, but uh, I've got a double trap door for a thicker fence and then barrel blocks for sort of the corners of the fences. Um, in here, uh, I've got, I built a smaller mushroom and then I tried to make some even smaller brown mushrooms with the wood slab and the um, end rod. Uh, and then um, some dark oak saplings to look like bushes. The dark oak saplings won't grow by themselves. You need a two by two, four of them to grow, so they will stay that way. Um, and then some texturing on the walk here. I'm really falling in love with the coarse dirt uh, and the ability to have that. Um, uh, it really works well. I think the Minecraft has a lot of dirt palette blocks. Um, so you can do coarse dirt, you can do farmland, you can do grass path, you can do this podzel. Um, you can do quite a bit. Even uh, brown con uh, concrete powder works. Uh, going into the house here, we've got uh, just a traditional looking inside. Um, got a welcome mat. I like to have a shelter there. That's my to organize, but also my oh crap, I got to grab a bed or a sword. Um, see a living room. Um, I'm also starting to fall in love with you using shulkers for the textures. We're, we're far enough in end game on the server that I can use shulker boxes as decoration. So here is a carpet with some shulker boxes, um, recliner, uh, and so on, a little kitchen area. Uh, and my storage system, as it were, consists of sort of, um, two organized barrels. You can see just some heads there, some food, uh, and then a chest with shulkers. Uh, and uh, I grab what I need. A lot of the farm supplies are over in the farms as opposed to coming back to my storage area. Uh, I do have more than this. I have some long-term uh, stone storage upstairs and, and so on. Um, but that's pretty much it for um, supplies. This is usually full, uh, uh, though it's off in a project. Um, between those two, I can store quite a bit. Uh, going upstairs here, kind of an overlook. Uh, and then my my bedroom. Um, so as you can see from my skin, I'm Mandalorian. But when I started the server, uh, I was using a, a Batman skin. Um, and in some of those old YouTube videos from the other players, uh, you can see uh, me as Batman. So this was uh, I was Batman when I built this room um, and my bed. And there's my old head. Uh, I found like, for example, using blocks in ways you didn't really intend. I found that uh, mushroom block looks kind of like torn or old wall wallpaper. So I really like that uh, as an odd detail in the room. And then for the accent of the house, I built a brown mushroom. I believe it's the same size, maybe one bigger than that, uh, than the, the natural spawning. Um, but it's definitely the, the accent for the house. It's nice be up here there's no spawns up here um, and then just to show you a little bit more of the build on my electron uh, is the house the roof here so a little bit of texture in between the lime and the green um, really like the smoke uh, the campfire as the, the the chimney and so on all right so that's my brown mushroom house let's head on and see what else we got here in this area built here uh, is this barn. Um, so this barn uh, is supposed to go with the rustic theme. You can see uh, the, the red texturing. You've got the quilt pattern up there, uh, silo next to it. That actually was quite a bit of a pain to get it to look okay. Um, I tried to show the age here with some broken down fence and lots of overgrown grass. Um, 
I've also really started to, to like these uh, fence trees and adding those around. They're a good um, variation from the traditional Minecraft trees. You can see one over here too. Um, and then uh, as we go in, you can see, like I was saying, with a dirt pallet, um, quite a variety of possibility. Uh, this is actually our wolf farm. So this is a Cub Fan 135 design where you have a bunch of sheep uh, that when they eat the grass, the observer sees the change and then it uh, pushes new grass in and the grass snakes around so that it has time to, to grow back. Uh, and then outside of here, just similar backside. Um, and you can see some texturing on the roof. Oh, hello guys. How's it going? Well guys, I got them. I started fighting the patrol and realized I didn't have uh, my armor on. I mean, I have my Mando armor on, uh, as always. This is the way. But I think that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to end there. Uh, hopefully this video interested you and you want to see some more. Um, I will spend more time on the different builds, uh, especially as I get more comfortable talking to the camera. Um, I definitely am looking forward to showing you guys these builds over here, uh, as well as this castle. Um, I've spent a lot of time on that castle and um, one of the things I'm most proud of on the server. Um, uh, but uh, I think we'll end there. So if you liked the video, let me know, leave a like, uh, post a comment. If you have questions or um, something you want to see, definitely let me know. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.